As a periodontist, I find that my formula for implant surgical success relies on my ability to do prosthetically driven implant planning and surgical guide fabrication and guided surgery. And I find that tying together all aspects of digital dentistry within one easy to use platform really makes that possible. The first piece of information we need to capture from our patients is a high quality cone beam CT scan so that we can see all of the underlying anatomy. Ideally, we would like these images to have exceptional resolution, have a low dose of radiation to the patient, and also be very easy to capture. And using a scanner like the, the VISO shown here allows us to do all those things very easily including even creating custom fields of capture with the touch of your finger. There's no doubt that these CBCT units are the foundation for my surgical practice. The next important piece of information we need from these patients is to capture intraoral scans. Having these digital models of the patient's dentition and soft tissues will allow us to do our prosthetically driven planning, but also give us surfaces on which we can build surgical guides. At these initial patient consultation appointments, we're typically capturing full arch scans when we're doing intraoral scanning, along with a digital bite registration. And for me, someone who doesn't have a lot of digital and intraoral scanner experience, I find that having a scanner that's fast and easy to use, like the Emerald S, is a real benefit. So now we have everything we need to plan our case. In this case, the patient had previously had tooth number four or tooth number one five for our international friends extracted due to vertical root fracture. And we did ridge preservation grafting at the time of extraction. And here we are 12 weeks later, we brought her in for her initial consultation. We did our intraoral scans, captured the CBCT. And now we're looking at these images of the intraoral scans in PlanCat Easy and we're gonna do a really quick but powerful digital wax up so that we have an idea of what the future restoration should look like. And this includes a couple key features. Where we're drawing now is defining the future gingival margin where the abutment and prosthesis will emerge from and through the soft tissue because that's a critical landmark for us to determine platform depth of our implant when we're planning. We're also going to look at overall contour and shape and size and occlusion in this case, so that we have all of that information when we're considering where the perfect implant position and emergence should exist. The software helps us by generating a proposal of what the ideal tooth looks like. And all we have to do from there is really just make some fine tune adjustments. This video is in real time, it's not sped up, and I emphasize that point because myself, as someone who does not do CAD CAM dentistry, can make this process efficient enough that it's worth it, even for a posterior single site like this one where we would typically just do freehand implant surgery. So for the investment of time of just a couple minutes, I can have an exact idea of what this tooth should look like to help me plan my implant later. And this includes looking at the occlusion. And here we have our bite registration digitally, and we can even look at a cross section of the tooth and develop that cusp fossa relationship and make a clear determination of where the central groove of the occlusal surface would be because there's such important landmarks for where we would want that implant to emerge. The biggest benefit we get from this process is of course, planning multi-unit implant cases or even full arch edentulous cases but we've done research to show that even for a single site like this one, doing a full diagnostic wax up can lead to differences and improvements in the end result in terms of implant planning, even when we're doing guided implant placement. And here we go, this is exactly what we need to plan our case. We can continue making fine adjustments if we would like, especially if we wanna use this wax up to generate a temporary restoration for our implant. I've started doing this entire planning process chair side. I find that when the patient is sitting there watching, number one, there's a wow factor. And number two, they really get invested in the process. And I find that as a side effect of that, the case acceptance rate really goes up. Once the wax up is complete, 
we need to bring that into the 3D world with our CBCT so that we can plan our implant placement. When I'm setting up my CT scan for viewing and for planning, I have a step-by-step -step process that I like to do. And this is the implant planning module within the Romexa software. The first thing I do is set up a panoramic curve so that I can view cross sections of the CT scan on the alveolar ridge where we're working. Once that's done, we need to import in the 3D image of the scanned arch that we're going to be working on. PlanMecca has created a really efficient tool, a fit model module, that allows us to do this by clicking common data points between the intraoral scan and the CBCT to give the computer enough information to align the two images together and then do a fine-tuning algorithm to create a perfect match. I used to pay a service to do this step for me, and indeed some software systems require you to do that. However, now that I've started doing it myself, I prefer to do it that way, number one, because it's so quick and efficient, and number two, because I'm able to verify the quality of the merge that I wouldn't want to do it any other way. And all we have to do to verify the quality of the fit is to scroll through our panoramic curve cross sections from one side of the arch to the other and examine the overlay of the intraoral scan with the CBCT. And you can see here that the fit is perfect throughout. I do recommend in these cases to do full arch intraoral scans and merge those with the CBCT in which you've captured the entire full arch so that you can verify the quality of the merge. To bring our wax up in, all we have to do is repeat the process and just click the existing match button because that positional data is built in. And now we have a perfect overlay, a representation of the patient overall that includes the three-dimensional hard tissue anatomy, the intraoral scan of the dentition and soft tissues, as well as the custom wax up that we've created. We have all of the landmarks we need to successfully digitally plan the perfect implant position. PlanMecca works with implant manufacturers from all over the world so that you have access to a digital model of whatever implant system you like to work with. I like to set up my implant planning view just like this, with the lower left panel being the implant-centric view, and the lower right panel being the volume rendering merged with our intraoral scan and our digital wax up, so that as we make changes to the implant position, we can see how this translates in real time to how that implant would emerge through the restoration. And this could even include the position of the screw access hole through that restoration to allow us to plan that in even greater detail. For those of us who do freehand implant surgery, this might be all the information we need. We can see where the ideal implant position would be. We can determine where the emergence would exist and we can see the adjacent anatomy and even really help us plan what the ideal implant size would be in this case. However, if we want to proceed and fabricate a surgical guide so that we can do this case with guided implant surgery, the next step would be to add a surgical guide sleeve to the implant. All we have to do is choose the appropriate sleeve from the menu that would correspond to our guided implant surgery kit that we have and define the ideal drill length for the site and for the position. Once that is dialed in, we have everything we need, all the information to proceed with surgical guide fabrication. There's a lot of flexibility built in this guided system where we can do anything from a pilot guided case where we just want to establish the initial osteotomy position to potentially a full arch case where we need stabilization pins. And for a single unit case like this, we can even rotate the sleeve to better fit the site, but also define implant timing if that's compatible with your implant system, especially if you want to integrate in immediate temporization or custom healing abutments. And like when we're doing the wax up, I really like sharing this part of the process with the patient. I find that they become better informed and they really like the peace of mind of knowing that we're using this technology to improve the outcome but also that they're part of the planning process. Once we have this done, we can move forward with PlanMecca's surgical guide design module. And this is a step-by-step -step process that is really intuitive and easy and quick, and I find is also powerful enough 
to accommodate really complicated surgical design cases. To start planning our surgical guide, we select the area of the dentition we want covered by the surgical guide. For a posterior case like this, I strongly recommend extending the guide to the posterior of the contralateral side of the arch so that you have stabilization of the guide and more area for you and your assistant to place and stabilize the guide during surgery. Once the computer renders a proposal, you can customize it using really simple tools. And I find that having this three-dimensional rendering that you can manipulate is really intuitive compared to a lot of other systems where you have to define these elements before the software renders the guide. For example, you may choose to customize the guide based on your intended surgical approach. For a flapless case, you may want to completely remove the flange around the area where the implant's being placed. Or for a case where you intend to flap, you may choose to place a small buckle flange to help aid in flap reflection. PlanMecha has created these really intuitive tools within their surgical guide design module, like the eraser tool that I'm showing here, or the ability to add bars for support with just a couple clicks of a mouse. The beautiful thing about this is that we're able to generate these complicated and customized surgical guides using seemingly simple tools in a relatively short amount of time. This video, like the others, is in real time, and I'm doing that to show that just in the span of a couple minutes, you can create these customized surgical guides for your patients for, for implant placement. The final thing that I like to do typically is put windows through my guide so that I can verify seating at the time of surgery. In this case, I find that canines and premolars through the incisal or cuspal edge, extending from the buckle all the way to the lingual surface, gives me that ability to verify that the guide is fully seated at the time of surgery. And here we are. We have a completely rendered surgical guide, and all we have to do now is tell the computer to generate the STL image so that we can send it out for 3D printing. And once we've completed the plan, the software incorporates all of the aspects of our plan together within one view in the 3D file of the patient's chart. The final step before surgery is to 3D print our surgical guide. And in this case, we're going to take the rendering of the model, which is exported from Remexis as an STL file, and prepare it using the software from PlanMecha. And with a couple clicks of the mouse, we can send it to their 3D printer called the Creo. Setup of the 3D printer simply requires inserting a cartridge of the FDA-approved surgical guide resin. And then we remove the printed guide from the build plate, take off the print supports, do an alcohol wash, and a final UV cure. And then we can insert the surgical guide sleeve that we had planned in the implant planning module. These surgical guides that you 3D print are every bit as good as something you would receive from a professional laboratory. And we found that the amount of time and money that you save by printing these in-house certainly justifies the effort. Once you have that surgical guide in hand, you're ready for guided implant surgery. And I joke that the surgery itself is the easiest part of the entire process because you've worked out all of the details ahead of time. Because guided implant surgery takes so much of the risk out of the entire implant surgical process, and because we have this efficient, effective workflow to plan our cases and make surgical guides in-house, I find that I'm creating surgical guides for just about every case that I do. And here are the results from this case. An overlay of the postoperative periapical radiograph over the original plan that we had created from our CT and our prosthetic design, as well as our final restored result. I find that I'm getting these perfect results based on these plans on every case that I do. Plan Mecca makes exceptional hardware but I think the really wonderful thing is when it's tied together by their software system, Remexis, that allows you to accomplish all of these digital dentistry tasks within one single platform. And for me, I think applying these things surgically is a really good example of how we can bring all of this to life 